actual house, it's got an actual club It's just actual stories that are actually fun And they're written by kids that actors tell with their mouths And it's time to begin, it's the Story Club Yes! I think we're on. I'm pretty sure this is working. If it's not, I have no way of knowing. Um, welcome to the Story Clubhouse, where each week we explore the worlds dreamed up by young storyteller students. Now, I can't wait to get into today's story. It is called The Oreo Brothers. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Max Greenfield, and I'm excited to be here tonight. Uh, in case you don't know, at Young, story, at young Storytellers, we go into public schools and we mentor young people to write their own original stories. As you'll see tonight, these stories are the purest expression of our students' imagination and creativity. They write every word that you're gonna hear tonight. I've been involved with Young Stories for many years and I've seen so many of these stories come to life and it really is just a true joy for not only the writers, uh, the young writers, the mentors who've worked with them, but also for the actors performing them. This is one of the greatest events uh, that I've ever been a part of. I've done it for many years. I was able to host the big show a couple of years ago, and I've been able to host a couple of these uh, story clubhouses over the past few weeks over on, on this Zoom uh, version. And they've really been incredible and so much fun and, and so many wonderful people have come out and been a part of them. Uh, so today, I'm super excited for what we have in store. Uh, it's the Oreo Brothers by Bato Yual from Crescent Heights Elementary School. Now he wrote this back in 2016. Uh, Bato is now in high school. Um, he is not with us tonight because you know, he's in high school now. And uh, is, you know, this is, he's a little bit cool for the story clubhouse. I don't know, maybe, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I don't know where Bato is. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know how to work the Zoom. But we do have his mentor, uh, Mike Tozen. Mike, can you please come out and let's talk about the Oreo Bros. Hey. Hi, Max. How are you, man? My, I'm great, Mike. Very quick question. <laughs> Is it the Oreo Bros or can I say Oreo Brothers? Uh, I think he, Bato would say the Oreo Bros. Okay. Was, I think I've was, been, I just realized, I think I've been butchering it. I, he was a cool kid. I think yeah. he like to say bros, yeah. Okay, so maybe he is like in high school now and he is kind of like, cool, I'm good. He was, um, definitely, he was definitely a popular kid. He's so Mike, how, kid. how did you get involved in, in uh, Young Storytellers? I, um, I was working at iOS and then someone, some the people were talking about it. It's like one of those things that people talk about that you, you, hear, you hear little bits of it and they're like, oh, what's that? I, I want to get involved in that. And, um, and someone introduced me to Carrie Barrett and then Carrie introduced me to Alex. Alex works, Alex works at uh, Young Storytellers. And so they got me involved. And I yeah. was like, what? it's a very, it's very, um, I just, I'd never heard anything like it before. And I was like, oh, I want to, I want to see what that's all about. So yeah, I got involved. About and it. I understand so, you've worked with a couple of different students. Yeah, I've done, I think I've done it like five or six times. I've also been a part of the big show, which is so much fun. Yeah. Like that's, it's so fun to, to, to do that. Um, and this is, this is a great, this is another great way to do it. I mean, why not? So yeah. So walk me through a little bit about with your process with Bato. How did that work out? Um, well, Bato, some kids, some kids are very shy, and then some kids are like Bato. <laughs> uh, I, I remember he's he was very, he's extremely confident, um, very energetic, uh, and he's also he was obsessed with Oreo cookies. Like, <laughs> like everybody had their thing. Like in seventh and eighth grade, m mine was like Power Rangers. Like that's all I wanted to talk about was Power Rangers. His, his thing was Oreo cookies. And that's just that's just what he's about. <laughs> it's like this is what I love. The old and that was the genesis of the Oreo Bros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Um, do you remember at all what sort of the tagline of the story was? Oh, I don't. Oh, actually, I ha I might have the. No, I don't. I don't remember the tagline. It was like, oh. Do you want to give us a taste of what we're in for, or should we just all be surprised? I think that might be the tagline, a taste of what you're in for. It's something, <laughs> it's something like that. It's something like that. It's like dripping dripping in chocolate or something something along those lines. Okay, Don't great. Say, like, <laughs> I remember writing this, like, man, this kid's obsessed with Oreos. And then I went and bought some Oreos on the way home, like, 
Yeah, it's, it's really is a perfect cookie. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot. There's not a lot bad with an Oreo. All right. Well, without further ado, let me let me ask the actors to come out, and we'll introduce them, and they'll tell us what roles they're playing in the Oreo Bros, and then we'll get this show on the road. Let's bring out Tony Hale. It's not letting me start my video. Of course, it's not. There, there it is. is. There we are. Can you hear me? Okay. Oh my God, we can hear you great, Tony. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you, so much, Max. thank you so much. I appreciate it. Would you it. walk us through the process of uh, getting here this evening? And, well, and by that, I mean turning on your computer and getting to see your face and hear your tricky. voice. We don't ha all have a, such as good lighting as Mr. Max Greenfield does, but um, we, uh, <laughs> it was uh, tricky, but I'm happy to be here. Technology is not necessarily my friend, but tonight I'm playing Captain Oreo, and I'm very excited about it. I mean, it must be nice for you to play a captain, to get cast as a captain. It really is. I'm not the quirky sidekick of the captain. I'm the captain. Do you, now, let me ask you something. Do you dream of playing the captain or are you comfortable more as, as the sidekick of the captain? No, I dream. I, I dream of being the captain. And today's my chance. I'm the captain. I'm <laughs> captain. Is this really like a new stage in your career where you're like, yeah. maybe today's the first day, like this whole quarantine situation is realized like, no, I'm the captain and yeah. I'm no longer the sidekick. Let me tell you right now, thanks to Bada, today's the first day of the rest of my life. That's incredible. Yeah. What, a, what a moment for you, Tony. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now, I don't know if you, I, I don't know, have you done one of these before the Story oh, yeah. Clubhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so fun. I've done them live also a lot and it's just a blast. It's the best. But have, but have you done it on the on on Zoom yet? Surprisingly, I have. You'd think I have not with the amount of technical difficulties I had, but I actually have. Okay, well this I when I when I hope when I host it, what I like to do is I ask all the actors if they could if you're on a laptop, if you could walk us through room room by room of your entire house. Really? Oh, I, I, was not, I was not told those rules, but all right, sure. Okay, just we'll start wherever you like. Um, <laughs> all right, Danny Pudi is with us as well. <laughs> What's up, bros? How are you, man? I guess well. Tony, Tony didn't get the memo uh, that we're wearing hats and mustaches. Um, <laughs> Oh, look, Chris is there, too. Chris got the memo. We got to, oh, <laughs> the car. Here, do I get the gallery view? Oh, there it is. What's up, Chris? OK. Hey, I'm happy to be here. I'm playing Cream today. I'm the good stuff in the middle. Very excited about this. Let's rock. What's up? Oh, there we go. Yeah, now my sound's on. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hat club. Hat club. Hat club in the building. Hat club all day. I'm a. I just escaped New York, so I'm out here in these streets. Oh my gosh, maybe th that's like the real version of the movie Escape from New York. It I really just... is. But but like, but they, they didn't put the part in the movie where it takes two weeks of pre-planning so you know we're not to stop. Uh, so it's just it's, it's just a lot of myth, a lot of neurotic planning. But it's wow. it's fun. We're having fun. Well done. And, and well done for being here. Yeah. Chris I'm, I'm is. Here for, I'm here for now, baby. I'm here for now. <laughs> Chris, explain to everybody where you are right now and just a little backstory. Okay, well, I, we started in New York and we went through uh, Don't Stop There, Pennsylvania. And, and it all looks like trees. Uh, I, to, to the right, it's trees. To the left, to, to fields and trees. Uh, that's, that's pretty much most of America. The rest of it, you can see it on the news. Or in this story, uh, I woke up today and I've been in the car ever since. I'm here with y'all. Oh my god! Like a child the truck. <laughs> the oh, what, is that? Oh. what is that? I'm, and that's my and that's my homie uh, Dwayne who's driving. We hey, does a uh, quick question? Does Dwayne want to play a role? <laughs> hey, Dwayne, do you, you want to play a role of a lifetime right now, or? <laughs> He's, he's always playing a role. I think <laughs> I'd be happy to give Dwayne the Chips Ahoy monster. That's who I'm playing. It's only he's two driving, lines. Max. Max, he's driving. Oh, yeah, I, he should drive. He should. He should drive. He should drive. Yeah. Okay. I just, you know, I thought. <laughs> I, I, I thought. Well, I bet you know. I. 
You might have want to ask Dwayne, but it feels like Tony hey. took that away from him pretty quickly. He's driving. He's driving. Hey, hey, Dwayne, you, you were going to get a role of a lifetime, but uh, I immediately took it away because you have to understand how Hollywood works. Okay. Uh, so we here. Chris. Uh, <laughs> Dwayne's going to be fine. Uh, incredible that you've made it to us and that you're joining us. Uh, it really is. Uh, shows your real, real, real dedication, Chris, and we thank you. Uh, and Bato thanks you. Who, Chris, who are you playing tonight? I'm playing Cookies. Incredible. <laughs> and, and I love cookies, and so it just, you know, it's, I started my life eating cookies, and now I get to play cookies. And, that, and that's just a full circle moment for me. This, wow. is, this, is, this is a beautiful moment. Is that what the C on your hat stands for? Yes. Also, Chris. Also, other words I probably can't say on this, so we'll just say cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Danny, we're just getting brim on your hat. What is what? What kind of hat are you rocking tonight? You could VFX. You could put whatever you want up there. Oh, oh that's nice. cool. That's cool. I like that. It's just like I don't even have a team. I'm just I'm blank. I'm blanking it. <laughs> Max, are we going to get to the story, or are we just going to talk about? Hats? Oh my God! I almost <laughs> forgot. You know, I haven't I haven't seen anybody in so long. Um, it. Adults. This is really just an opportunity for me to talk to you guys. It's fine. I'm just sure the kids are pretty excited to hear the story, but we can keep talking about hats. We okay. Get, um, also, hats let's, fun. Yeah. let's introduce Vera as well. Oh. You Hi, also friends. could remember Vera, Tony. Jeez Louise. What's Hi, up, Vera. Bros? How are you? Hi, Vera. I'm good. Hi, Vera. Hi, Vera. Happy to be a bro tonight. It's one of my favorite things yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, Vera, how many, have you done, how many of these have you done so far? Not in the past of these Zoom ones. Oh, total? Oh, I don't know, because there was this one semester that I did like five or six of them. Total? I don't know, probably around 20, I would guess. Are you always the narrator? I'm always the narrator. Well, you're very good at it. Thank you. It's, a, it's my like thing, because people forget about the narrator, and I go in, I'm like, I'm a really good narrator, and then they give me a part no matter what. I love it. <laughs> this is um, how Hollywood works. You gotta swoop in, you know. There you go. Gotta swoop look, in. Dwayne found out the hard way how Hollywood works. Um, yeah, Dwayne, you, you gotta swoop in. You gotta swoop and, in from now on. <laughs> and now, once again, we're reminded. All right, so let's jump into this. Vera, kick us off. Um, and without further ado, the Oreo Bros. The Oreo Bros, When Cookies and Cream Stick Together, written yeah. by Bato Yule. Exterior Oreo City, Oreo Wood, Day. Two brothers, Cookies and Cream, walk down a very populated block in Oreo Wood. They stop because they see two good restaurants, Oreo Cafe and Oreo Potle. So, so which one you want to go to? I want to go to Oreo Potle. Exterior. Oreo City, Oreo Wood, night. Cookies and Cream walk down the street on the way home. A car suddenly drives by and Cream is kidnapped by the driver, Captain ah! Oreo. <clears throat> Captain Oreo drops a map for Cookies, which shows where he is taking Cream. He took my brother. Let me go to bed first. And then I'm gonna go find my brother. And he, and he clones him. Is this his map? <laughs> Exterior Hershey Dungeon the next day. As Cookies follows the map to find his brother, it leads him to Hershey Dungeon, a huge building made of Hershey chocolate. So this is the place? A big, big Hershey building? I only like Oreos, but this is for my brother. As he walks into the dungeon, Cookie spots another map. He runs into it. Then, all of a sudden, a big Hershey Kiss monster blocks his path to the map, roaring, Hershey's! Oh, come on, a boss. This is not a video game. Then, Cookies uses his Oreo powers on the monster, blasting him with milk. The Hershey Kiss monster expands and freezes. Milk is good for your kids. It gets you big and strong. And this guy got the idea. He got real big. Cookies runs around the frozen monster, grabs the second map, and leaves the dungeon. Whew, that was over. He kind of smelled weird, too. Maybe because maybe cause I, I only smell Oreos. Cookies oh, follows that. the map to the next dungeon, a big Chips Ahoy building. 
The building itself is made of six huge cookies. He walks in. Interior Chips Ahoy building, day. Well, this, is, this isn't the last dungeon. This, there's an, um, another map on, on the other side of the room? Suddenly, a Chips Ahoy snapper, basically a mousetrap made of cookies, snap Cookie's legs, hurting him. He screams out. Ah! Oh, what was that? He looks down, noticing the Chips Ahoy snappers. Cookies tries to fly up into the air to get away, but the snappers follow him. Then Cookies squirts milk on the snappers to slow them down and dives for the map. But he is stopped <sighs> by a big Chips Ahoy monster. I will eat you. No, you're not. I have your weakness right here. Cookies shows the Chips Ahoy monster a bit of the Hershey monster that was left over. Ah, so jealous. Hershey's chocolate was always better than Chips Ahoy. Now I'm angry. The Chips Ahoy monster spits mini Chips Ahoys at Cookies. But Cookies uses his fast reflexes to dodge them. Cookies then starts to dodge them in a big circle, which eventually makes the Chips Ahoy monster dizzy, and then he passes out. Take, take that, you big chocolate of, of uh, chocolate. <laughs> Cookies then grabs the map. Uh, since this is turning out like a video game, there's usually three bosses before the end. So, like, yeah. Cookies yeah. walks off to the last dungeon. Exterior, the Oreo dungeon. Afternoon, one massive Oreo makes up the entirety of this dungeon. Yes, an Oreo dungeon. And I have the advantage. Wait, I just remembered. Captain Oreo is an Oreo. <gasps> Cookies walks into the big dungeon, seeing that a huge arena makes up the interior. Wow, this is way bigger than I expected. Cookies hears a voice from somewhere in the large room. Yo, bro! Who is that? Cookies looks left, looks right, looks down, and then looks up, finally seeing Cream hanging in a hardened Oreo cage suspended over Oreo lava. Dude, dude, how's the view up there? Meh, not bad. More importantly, get me out of here! Okay, go chill, dude. Chill. I'll get you out of here. A spotlight appears on Captain Oreo. You have to get through me first. Oreo army, attack! An Oreo army charges from behind Captain Oreo, rushing towards Cookies. <laughs> Cookies waits patiently. When the army gets close to him, Cookies quickly dashes to the side, and the army crashes into a wall behind him. How do you have those reflexes? I don't know, man. Born with it. Captain Oreo comes to the middle of the arena. Cookies stops him from moving, freezing him with a blast of milk. He then flies to Captain Oreo. How are you gonna escape now? Like this. Captain Oreo squirts cream in Cookie's eyes, blinding him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm blind now. Cream suddenly squeezes an eyedrop dispenser from his cage and cures Cookie's blindness. An eyedrop dispenser? Who keeps that in their pockets? I do. Cookies flies to Captain Oreo and squirts his eyes with cream. Ah! Blind! Cookies looks up at the cage, which looks like it's about to drop in the lava. Then he sees an Oreo boulder high up on the ceiling. Captain Oreo, meanwhile, is wiping his eyes. Ooh, whew, I finally can see again. Cookies flies up to the big boulder and punches it until it falls down, crashing into the arena. Captain Oreo looks behind to see a big Oreo boulder rolling right at him. <laughs> Captain Oreo runs out the dungeon away from the boulder and drops a key into Cream's cage. Cookies picks up the key and flies to Cream. Thanks, bro! Anything for a bro! The two, the two brothers exit the dungeon and start walking home. <sighs> so, what happened to Captain Oreo? I don't know. 
But I'm sure he's fast enough to run away from a boulder. <laughs> Exterior, Oreo Forest, outside Oreo Wood, night. Captain Oreo is still running away from the big boulder. <laughs> Interior, Cookies and Cream's home, night. <sighs> so you know what you learned, right? Definitely. If I ever get carried away, I'll always know that you'll be coming for me. The end. Yeah! yeah! Yes! Woo!